Hello guys, welcome back to S1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily S1 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this beam. This is a simply supported beam with a triangular load acting on this beam. And this triangular load acts at the center of this beam. The triangular load starts from this position which is 3 meter and with a zero magnitude and ends up to the distance of 6 meter from this support or we can say the total distance, the total length of the load is 3 meter and the maximum magnitude of the load is 2 kN per meter. So the dimension of the beam are given to us. So first of all we are going to find out the support reactions. Let us consider this is support A and this is support B. Now they will resist this load so it will be RA and it will be RB. Now to find out the, the how much load acting on this beam from this triangular load we can find out the area of this triangle. So this is a triangle let's suppose if this is a triangle this is the base and this is height so we can find the area of this triangle by this formula half base into height. So similarly we can find out the area of this triangle so half base into height base is 3 meter so base into height so half base is 3 meter multiplying with height height is 2 kN per meter so meter meter will be cancelled so if you multiply these we will only remain with the kN so it will be 3 kN so we convert this triangular load into a pointed load this is the area of this triangular load so this is now a pointed load or we can say the concentrated load acting on this beam and this load will act at the centroid of this triangle. This load is a magnitude of 3 kN. This is the total magnitude of this load and it will act at the centroid of this triangle. Now how to find out the centroid? Let's suppose this is in a triangle and this is the total length of this triangle is L. So the centroid of the triangle will be at this part where from this position, from this location it will be two thirds of L and from this part up to this end of the triangle it will be one third of L. This is the centroid of the triangle. So similarly for this triangle it will be, the centroid will be two-third of L, L is three meter and from this up to this point it will be one-third of L, L is three meter here in this case. So this is the centroid where the load will act on this beam. First of all we convert this load into a pointed load which is three kN and this three kN acts at the centroid of this triangle and the centroid is two-third of L which is three meter from this point up to this point it is two-third of L and from this point up to this point it is one-third of L. We can find out the triangle by this formula. Now how to find out the reactions? So to start with the reaction let's consider the summation of moment at point B equal to zero. At this point we take the moment is equal to zero. Let's consider that the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. Now the clockwise moment, the RA, it will act in the upward direction like in this way and it will create clockwise moment about point B. So it will be clockwise is taken as positive, so it will be RA multiplied with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this RA up to point B. So it is 3 plus 3 plus 3, it is 9. Now also there is this load acting on this beam and it is acting in the downward direction and it creates a movement in the anti-clockwise direction about point B. So it is anti-clockwise, so it is negative, minus. And load is 3 kN. Multiplying it with the moment arm, the moment arm is the distance from this point up to this point B. So 3 meter is this distance, and 1 by third of 3 is this distance. So it is, the moment arm is 1 by third into 3, plus 3. So equal to zero summation of all moment about point B equal to zero. So 9RA is equal to, if we shift this into the right side, so it becomes 3 into 1 over 3 into 3 plus 3. 
So by simplifying this, we can easily simplify this equation. So we got 3 is 1. So 3 into 1 plus 3, we can say 4. So 9RA is equal to 4 into 3, we got 12. So RA is equal to 12 divided by 9, or we can say 1.333 kilonewton. So this is the support reactions at A point. 1.33 kilonewton. How to find out the RB? So we can take help from this equation, summation of vertical forces are equal to 0, or we can also use summation of moment at point A equal to 0. But let's suppose we are using this equation in order to find out this RB. Let's consider that the upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. So RA and RB are acting in the upward direction. So they are taken as positive. While this load is acting in downward direction, so it will be negative. And the magnitude of this load is 3 kN, so it is 3. Summation of all the vertical forces is equal to 0. So RB is equal to 3 minus RA. We know that RA is 1.66, sorry, it is 1.33. So we got RB equal to almost 1.667 kN. So this is the support reactions B, which is 1.667 kN. So first of all, we find out the support reactions. Now to draw the shear force diagram, simply we will draw the reference line. So this will be the reference line for the shear force diagram in the unit of kilonewton. Because shear force is a force in the unit of kilonewton. So it is a force, that's why its unit is kilonewton. Now to find out, to draw the shear force diagram, these are the reference lines 0, 0. Now RA is acting in the upper direction of 1.33 kN. So we will start from here and it will move upward in the upper direction of 1.33. So this is the support reaction RA acting in the upper direction. And then there is no load acting on the beam, so it will be a straight line. And then there is load acting in the downward direction of 3 kN. So we will separate this 1.33 because it is acting in the upper direction, it was positive. So it is plus 1.33 and then minus 3. This load is 3 kN. Magnitude of 3 kN is acting in the downward direction, so minus 3. So we get minus 1.667. So it means that this load which is 3 kN makes the shear force of 1.66 up till this point. So it is now, we'll bring this line from there and we'll bring here like in this way up to the distance of minus 1.667. And then there is no load on the beam, so it will be a straight line. And then again, there is 1.667. So we will bring this again up to this point. So we will close the shear box. So this is the negative shear box, negative shear box, positive shear box, and positive shear box. This is the way how to draw the shear force diagram for the beam when there is a triangular load. First we got 1.33 acting in the upper direction. There is, there is no load acting on the beam. Then there is the total load of 3 kN. So we subtract this 1.33 from 3. We get one, minus 1 1.667. So we bring this into the negative shear value below is negative and above is positive. So below is minus 1.667. So then there is no load on the beam. So it was a straight line. And then there is the load of 1.667 acting in the upper direction. So we bring this to zero because 1.667 and minus 1.667 cancel each other and we got zero. So this is the shear boxes for this beam. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily seven engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.